Whether or not you've ever played them, you've almost certainly seen them. We are talking about skill games at places like pizza shops and convenience stores. Are they legal? It depends on who you ask, and it depends, too, on what might happen next. Seth Kaplan joins us with that. Hey, Seth. Hey, Alicia. Yeah, games of skill, as they're called, aren't regulated. They aren't taxed. That makes them different from casinos, the lottery, online sports betting, or the video game terminals at truck stops. But illegal? But one of the keys to our growth and our continued growth is Pennsylvania skill games. Ryan Sprankle of Sprankle's Markets in Western PA says Pennsylvania skill games have helped his family, his employees, and his community. Our charitable donations. Before we, you know, we low margin business, so it was tough for us to give a lot to people that needed it. He says they've tripled their charitable donations since getting the machines. So what's not to like? Plenty, says State Senator Tommy Tomlinson of Bucks County. Uh, they've been running an illegal operation for years. And now to say, OK, forgive me, well, we want to be legal, I think is hypocritical. It's almost an insult. Tomlinson is talking about a proposal by another Republican state senator, Gene Yaw of Williamsport. I want to make sure that there is accountability for these legal skill games, along with, guess what, ample taxes. How ample? An unfinalized draft we saw of the plan suggests a tax rate of 16%, similar to table games, but much less than the 54% tax on slots. The PA Lottery tells us the skill machines have siphoned $500 million in sales and thus lots of services for PA seniors. Penn National Gaming tells us Senator Yaw's proposal would, quote, reward bad actors. Senator Tomlinson says putting the machines in place before a law isn't the right way to do things. You spend time convincing people. You work with Democrats, Republicans. The skill game industry spent money Tuesday night throwing this party at Federal Tap House for everyone from lawmakers to NFL players. And last summer, several legislators returned money to the skill game industry after a newspaper report about campaign contributions. But Alicia, Senator Yaw said he saw no need for him to do that because in his view, it's a perfectly legal business.